how to download Google Play Store on Amazon Fire Tablet. This video is going to take you through all the steps, solve any issues you might have because some other videos kind of skip over that. I'm going to skip none of them in this video, so if you watch it all the way through, you will be able to download it successfully. So first of all, click on the settings on your Amazon Fire tablet, whether that's on the home screen, or you can scroll down from the top and then click the little cog like you saw there. Once you're on the settings page, scroll down to where it says security and privacy, click on that, then scroll down again until you see apps from unknown sources, click on that, then you want to make sure it's going to be allowed. So click on the silk browser, that's going to be the one you're using. And then click allow from this source. Make sure that is turned on if it's not already. Then uh, once you've done that, you're going to scroll down until you see the device options. Click on the device options. Then look at the bottom where it's about Fire Tablet. Mine's Fire HD 8, the 10th generation. So make sure you keep note of that because you will need that for later steps. Uh, this is going to be where you're going to be doing this here. So there is a link in the description below. So go ahead and click on that. That might be easier. You see the website URL at the top. You have to type that in. Uh, it's going to show you how to uh, install it, so that all the steps and all the links, etc. So you will see this is very important that you go to this link right here. Uh, also, uh, do read this warning here. You must remove your tablet's micro SD card and a few other things. So make sure you do that before. Otherwise, that could be one of the issues that you're facing uh, with other videos, etc. Because these, some of these things could go wrong. So make sure you do look at that. Once you scroll down on this web page, uh, you should see a bit uh, where it, it comes up with like a few different things here, like Google Account Manager, Google Services Framework, etc. Uh, like this, it's three different things you're going to have to download, three or four in here. So the first one, Google Account Manager. Uh, for me, it's Fire HD, uh, the bracket seventh generation older. That's going to be for mine. So it's going to be a Google Account Manager V5.1. Uh, but for you, you want to click on whichever tablet you have. If you have the Fire HD 10, you want to click on that one. If you have the Fire HD 7, eighth gen, you want to click on that one. So click on whichever link works for you. I've done that for mine. Then it should take you to apkmirror.com and that little uh, website that looks a bit like this. Once you're on there, you want to scroll down and you might have to consent to this here. But then you want to click on that download APK button. And once you click on that, that might take a few seconds. Uh, for some people here as well, uh, you're going to have to be patient with a few of these steps. But eventually, it will come up on the screen, uh, uh, kind of like going through and uh, it kind of like loads the page where it says your download is starting. And eventually it will come up saying, uh, do you allow the download, etc. So this one here, which is download anyway, click on the download anyway button, and then it should go ahead and download. Now onto Google Services Framework. Again, you want to click on the one that works for you. So for me, it's Fire HD 8, and mine is the 10th generation, but obviously that means 7th generation or older. The 10th one is part of that. Click on whichever version works for you. Like I said before, if it's the Fire HD, you want to click on uh, whichever one works for you. And again, it's the same type of website, the APK Mirror. Same thing again, scroll down until you see the download APK button. Click on that again. Make sure you're doing these in the correct order, by the way. That's going to be uh, another thing uh, later on when I talk about orders. So it's quite important because you might find an issue if uh, you don't do these things in the correct way. So click that download anyway button again. Then you're going to go to the uh, third section where it says Google Play Services. And again, uh, mine's going to be the one at the bottom there because I've got a uh, Fire HD 8 10th generation. So the Google Play Services 32-bit ARM. So again, click whichever one works for you. My one's going to be the one at the bottom there. And once you click on the page, again, you have to kind of scroll down and click the download APK. So those three ones are quite similar. Uh, once you do that, it's going to be downloaded in the background. If you look towards the top left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see that little uh, downwards arrow uh, doing it, and like it's going to be downloading. So you don't need to check that. It will just automatically download. And by the time you go through all of these uh, downloads here, uh, they should all be done, and then you can kind of wait for it at the end. I'll uh, talk through uh, that a little bit later on in this video. But uh, right now, as you can see, this is going to be taking a while. So I'll kind of skip forward on this step here, and I'll come back. A second. So I did encounter an issue there where it didn't load the page straight away. So you might have to refresh the page, or you also you might have to click off the page, then go back onto the link again. So that could be an issue you face with one of those three links. Then once you're on this page right here, you want to click on a link which does not have beta next to it, because the beta one you might find it, uh, you might have issues with it. So the first six there have beta in the title, and you can see the Google Play Services one where it doesn't have beta in it. Go ahead and click on one of those. It doesn't matter which one. Preferably the what the um, most recent one there, like the July 20th one. Uh, there I go ahead went ahead and clicked on. 
it should look a bit like this right here and then again like you did with the other versions you want to wait for it to load scroll down and then click download apk again there are plenty of different options for this keep going until you find a non-beta version on sort of apk mirror website this could take uh, quite a while to load as well so once that's done click download apk and then it'll be good to go this one did take a ridiculously long time but i just kind of went back and forth between tabs and eventually it did pop up to where you can scroll down then see the download apk went ahead and click on that again and then uh, wait for that to download and then once the thing comes up where you can click download anyway then you'll go on to like, the next part uh, on the uh, install google play store tab so eventually it does pop up and you can click download anyway once you've clicked download anyway you want to go back onto the install google play store tab then you should scroll down to see a section where it says Google Play Store. That will be for all models. So Google Play Store, Bracket Universal, uh, that one there. You want to click on that. That's for any device uh, for that one. And then once you get onto this web page here for the Google Play Store, you're going to want to click on a link which uh, doesn't have the little uh, green a kind of like a little thing next to it where it says like bundle etc so for me i click the uh, second version uh, ones that are like that where it just says apk next to it in that little gray box it doesn't matter which one you click but i click the second one there that worked for me on august 1st uh, 2022 so i went ahead and clicked on that one once you click on that link it might come up with something like this here you can just close this uh, like advert etc and then you should go to this web page here where again you want to scroll down then it should be in blue this time it should be a download apk you want to click on the uh, uh, download apk button there and again it's going to go ahead and uh, download it's going to come up again saying uh, are you uh, willing to download it and then you want to, you want to say uh, uh, download anyway on that file might be harmful page uh, then you want to go ahead and wait a little bit here while it downloads and then we'll go to the next step so once all the downloads are done, you want to go back on to the Android Police website and then scroll down until you see a section where it says four different steps. Uh, so you'll see one, two, three, and four. And it's really important you do these steps in order, otherwise it will not work. So I'll go and show you how to do that now. So now you want to go off this page by clicking the home button, the little circle at the middle at the bottom, then click files uh, on the home page there. Once you get to this files page, you'll want to kind of scroll down to the bottom and make sure you do click these in the correct order. So the order is login, GSF, GMS, and then vending. So if you're unsure of that, you can go ahead and like do it in time order and then uh, you'll be able to see the ones that are downloaded first, etc. Then you want to click on uh, that one that makes sense and then click continue and then click install. Once that's installed, uh, what we want to do is click done. Don't click anything else and then go back onto the, the next step. So the second one in line, click on that. Then again, click continue and then install. Then you want to do it uh, for the third one in line. So you can go back uh, in this video and then see uh, the one, two, three, and four steps for that. And then you can kind of see the modified ones as it goes through. So make sure you do get these correct, like I said, because it is very important. So click continue on install on all of those. And then once that's done, uh, you should be coming towards uh, the end of the process now. Once they're all fully installed, you can go on to the Amazon Fire Tablet homepage. Then you should see the Google Play Store icon. Click on that. Go ahead and log in with the details that you use for your Google account. And then you should be able to go ahead and use all the features of the Google Play Store. So leave a like on the video if it helped. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for more helpful videos.